Man, I think I gotta get a new camera. The video picture sucks, the audio sucks, and it plows through batteries like nobody's business. But anyway, as a, a pretty silly intro, I think I'll call this mini bike update number two. Um, before we get to the obvious, sitting on the ground there, I'm gonna go over what I did since the last video. I failed, I pretty much, I had video that I did of uh, making an uh, adapter plate, but that failed since the chain was, uh, wasn't was lined up. So um, let's see if I can get through this quickly. Uh, in no particular order, I reupholstered the seat, which is basically just wrapping it like a present, and then stapling it a million times, holding it using uh, T bolts or T nuts to a piece of plywood, and putting that all back together. I um, uh, this is recent. I re remade a new plate, which actually works a lot better. Uh, I did have this out for a ride months ago uh, with the old plate and I still had the master link in the chain. That bent snapped off, I lost a bunch of pieces, I decided to get a chain to it, just make it a straight chain without the link. Works a lot better that way. The engine itself has been modified a bit to take this uh, there's a little bracket in there but the throttle works pretty good. And I kind of broke in the cable finally, so it's actually going back all the way. That's really just a, a little L bracket in there that I made using this stuff over here. Bent it, drilled a hole through, but I found an old uh, bike brake conduit end, whatever. Fished it through that little hole in there and used a cable stop and attach a spring here keep the tension because it doesn't go back all the way. Um, I flipped the recoil all the way around. I'm not, I'm not really going to do the same on that though. Just because I like everything being right side up. What else did I do? I, uh, oh yeah, I got new grips. New brake cable which is all held to the frame by hose clamps. And pretty much mocked up the or I was able to free up the old caliper uh, so that works all fine. I made a new bracket that was longer. You don't use the old spring. Kept the new clevis and all that stuff and recently got it so it floats. But it still doesn't stop very well. What can you do? But anyway, I've been taking this on multiple test runs. Oh yeah, added a kickstand too. Which is, took off my old my brother's old bike, which he no longer uses, so yeah, now a parts machine, or a parts donor. The clutch works good. This thing is great. I took it on multiple test runs, and, uh, but you know what? When I started this up, uh, in the uh, spring update, I, uh, I forgot to, as I mentioned in the video that it, um, had a flooded carburetor. I had to fix that. I had to bend the tab so that the float would close more. Enough interruptions. I took it on test runs over the past few weeks and it does great. It goes about 26 miles an hour through the neighborhood which is perfect. The only thing I don't like is that the acceleration is terrible and it's kind of gutless when you go up hills or try to get over bumps and stuff. So to, to combat that and the poor mounting bolt patterns. I went ahead and I uh, I waited for a good sale at Harbor Freight and they had the parking lot sale this weekend so yesterday I went and bought myself a 212cc 7 horsepower engine. This is the EPA one not the shitty California crap although it's not much different it just doesn't have that catalyst thing or whatever it is on the exhaust it is, however, the newer EPA one where it's got the fuel vapor, which is kind of leaking out the gasket. I don't like that. Um, I, I, I ran it yesterday, put in some good old 
Quaker State 10W30. Good stuff. Use it in our cars. I haven't used it in any of my small engine equipment yet until now. Uh, it was the cheapest 10W30 I could find at Walmart. Even the Super Tech stuff they had was synthetic and it costed more. So I figured, hey, if it's Quaker State, it might not be so bad. Put some gas in it, start it up, and I love it because it only it only starts, it only takes two pulls to start it. Uh, let, me get, let me get a little take of it uh, running now. It doesn't really take much to take much to start it. I'm just gonna turn the gas on, and the fuel shut off is right uh, next to the carburetor, so it goes in straight away. On that thing, I gotta wait a minute. Set the choke, turn it on, and it and this is not a cold start. I had this running a couple minutes ago. Wait a second. Okay, maybe it does take it a little bit more. Usually it's only two pulls. What the hell? Very nice. Uh, the I'm actually very pleased with it. It's overall kind of strange quality because it's the way they cut it up and, and machine it. It's, it leaves some burrs and sharp edges, but, or at least it doesn't look very pretty, but I guess you pay a little extra when you get a Honda. Um, so far the low oil shutoff hasn't kicked in, but I imagine it will when I start making turns on the mini bike with it. The idle is pretty shitty because they gotta, because the uh, the retarded EPA's gotta freaking adjust it so that the emissions are down, which is it's okay because it doesn't sneak up the neighborhood or anything. But and plus it is meant to be running on a load; it's not supposed to be. But the but even when it's idling without a load, it shouldn't be hesitating like that. So yeah. Um, pretty much it. I don't really, it's, this is just an update. I, I'm not really planning on doing anything with it today. Very good engine. Totally worth the 110 bucks I paid for it. It was 99.99, but I live in the Philadelphia area. I'm actually not quite in Philadelphia, but the sales tax there is 8%, so I, I throw on an $8. I thought about getting the uh, the warranty, but I just couldn't afford it. I didn't have the money on me at the time. And really, if something goes bad, it'll go bad within 90 days. I don't really care. Very nice engine. I actually can't wait to put it on here. So, that's where the plans come in. Um, I really can't do anything with it right now. I forgot if I said anything about the brakes. But the problem is, they do work, but they don't stop very well. Even if I got the, I finally got the caliper to float. 
So I had to figure that out. My plan was to get this engine off and just ditch the, the setup on it. Get a new clutch because this one is a 5-8. I need a 3 fourths shaft. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I wanted to see if I could figure out a way to put hydraulic brakes on it. There is a setup for that, but it's on. it would have to be mounted on the other side. I'd have to get a different kind of wheel. No matter what I do, it's going to be cost me quite a chunk of change. And really, I just hope I can be more careful in the streets instead. But yeah, major plans. Get a bigger clutch. Mount that beast. Got enough torque to tried to jump out of my hands a few times when I revved it yesterday. It's uh, it's not going on the frame quite yet because I still want to break it in. It's you got to run it at a uh, mid to low throttle for three hours and then change the oil. And good thing that they only take a pint because that means I can use the rest of this when I change it. So yeah, um, I've already probably made this video about 10 minutes long so I, don't, I really don't want to keep blabbering on I wish I could get some video of riding this but uh, I don't know it's nothing really impressive I'd rather really just wait till I get that engine on there